Now, as I make this particular video, it's about the beginning of September. But I'm going to take you back to August 10th or so when this Sweet 16 lathe arrived at my shop. And I'm going to show you the unboxing of it. I'm going to tear into that crate. And it's going to be a pretty quick video. Anyway, a lot has happened in the past two months. In June, my wife and I moved to Billings, Montana, and we're out in the West End. If you're ever in the neighborhood, please uh, contact me and uh, uh, visit me, and I'll show you my shop, which is being built right now. They're working on the trusses. Anyway, you can take a tour of this uh, Sweet 16 lathe, and what's going to follow this video is a tour of the features of my new robust lathe and something else has happened in the meantime my wife and i traveled to waco texas and attended the swat symposium what an awesome event i was very honored to be able to demonstrate there but i had a nice conversation with brent english and there are some things in the works that uh, i think are very promising for myself anyway so let's take a look at uh, this video and the unboxing and uh, it's going to start out with a truck backing up into my driveway. Well, as you can tell from the title, I can't really keep a secret from you. This is August 10th or 11th and my Sweet 16 Robust Lathe is arriving. And in just a second, we're going to lift up the back into this big old truck and lay this on the ground. I recently moved to Billings, Montana, the West End, which is really a very pretty area of Billings. Lots of farmland and trees and here it is. The robust Sweet 16 right from Wisconsin. Hey, don't tip that thing over now, buddy. All right. Well, in the next few clips, I'm going to uncrate this thing and we'll take a look at it. There's my friend Seth. He is the general contractor who built my home. And also, he is the general contractor who is going to put my shop together. And right now, they are ready for trusses. Anyway, back to the Sweet 16 delivery here. And I'm pretty excited. And I'm going to rip into this uh, crate here. Now, if you're familiar with carpentry and building and that sort of thing, if you really want to secure something, use a ring shank nail. And these boards are all put together with ring shank nails and they hold about as well as a screw but anyway i'll get the job done here and i'm going to rip into this and some of these clips i'm going to fast forward because i can't wait even though i i've seen it and over the last uh three four weeks i've been using this lathe and what will follow at some point will be a tour of the Sweet 16. I will cover all the features and there's a lot of good reviews of robust lathes out there, but I had to put my own together. Anyway, that'll come up uh, in the future. I need to finalize that, do a little bit more editing on that. There it is. Well, I'm going to save you a little bit of this footage and rip into this crate and before you know it, I'm going to have this sweet lathe exposed. And I guess the question you have to ask, is there a lathe dealership in my future? Well, you'll have to stay tuned and find out about that. There it is. There's the motor and the working end and the tailstock. Seth is going to help me take the top off this crate and we'll just throw it into the trailer and take it to the dump. And there we go. I took the walls off that crate and threw them away. Now, uh, I don't have a, a video of my friend Seth helping me 
we just slide that off the base of the crate, put it into my garage shop. And Coco doesn't seem to be as excited as I am. I think she wants to go for a ride in the Razor, which she honestly just loves. Okay, what's going on? Nobody's going to take me for a ride. So back to the robust. There it is. That's uh, put in place in my one stall shop garage. And you will certainly see more of this laid in the future. Just as a side note, I sold the white lathe. That's right, no more white lathe. I got a feeling this will be the center of attention for a lot of my upcoming videos. And right now it's the only lathe in my shop. Well, thank you once more for watching and stay tuned for more changes. And I think maybe Coco and I will go take a ride in the Razor.